Hello, Starfish Girl here, back for another video, uh, cheese tea one, <laughs> uh, I have to say that I got CCLP3 on the brain because of this level, um, in cheese tea one, and the fact that I was just playing some more CCLP3, uh, currently I am w a lot farther ahead in it on my World's World version than I am on the computer itself, it's just, I never have enough time to be on the computer, and so, I only have 19 levels left to CCLP3 on my Will's World version, where I don't even know, it's way more than that on the computer version. Um, it's not the last 19 levels though, it's m most of them are right at the end, but there's a few scattered throughout, uh, maybe a couple random, like back towards the beginning, but it's mostly scattered at the end. There's some at the end that I've beaten and others that I haven't, and not necessarily in order, but anyways. So I got that on my brain, so I gotta remember I'm in Cheese T1. Uh, we're currently at level 20 caves, as we all know from CCLP3, and watch me totally fail. Yeah, that was a fail. There we go. <laughs> Come on. No. Wait. Yes. I totally, I, I did that right, but I totally failed in my timing, so. There we go. There we go. I just gotta, if I don't get it timed right, then I don't do it right in the end, so. Whoops. Hopefully I didn't screw that up. It doesn't look like I have. Yes, I did. Shoot. Alright, I got the timing down just right, but if I do it wrong, then I'm screwed. <laughs> there we go. Okay, let's hope I did that right this time. Probably not, though. Looks like I did. Okay, good. So now that makes things a lot easier when the timing is right. This is, I mean, I'm sure pretty much everybody, well, if they've played CCLP3, maybe, I don't know. If, I don't even remember what, oh, this is kind of far into CCLP3, but not that far. I don't know, it was kind of in the middle somewhere. I don't remember the number, I, the level number itself. I just remember that it's next to Civilization of Creatures level. But cannot remember what the number of either of them are in the set. But whatever. Doesn't matter because that's not what we're playing. We're here to play Cheese T1. <laughs> oh, fudge. <laughs> now that was stupid. I saw that coming but I couldn't stop it. Oh, come on. This is actually a... Sp come on. It's actually a special episode. Normally I wouldn't be... a shoot. <laughs> Normally I wouldn't be able to be doing this right now. Well... Actually, I could be, but, um, it's not happening. Normally, I, well, I, yeah, I would probably just be getting home now. Anyways, this is a special episode in, because of the fact that no day today, first, and oh, most likely only, hopefully, hopefully only for this semester. Yeah, so I didn't have to go to class today, so I was happy, yeah. Yeah, no snow, and I love snow, but it was reaching the point where we hadn't had it yet, so I figured, well, what's the point in getting it now? I mean, we haven't had it this long, it's not worth it, we might as well just spring on, uh, get, we might as well just bring on spring as was happening, but, uh, shoot, there we go. Okay, there. So now that that's gonna come here, yep, good. The timing is right, so let's go. No, I pushed the blue. What? Tile world, come on. That was tile world. And I don't know if I did that right. I wasn't paying attention. There we go. Ah, ah, fudge. Seriously? I hate it when tile world does that. There we go. I know it's wrong if I oof, and that was, okay, maybe not. Ah, fudge. Yeah, that was wrong. Wow. Anyways, uh. tile world stupid controls aside, um, there we go. Okay. Um, yeah. Haven't really had any snow. It's been weird. Like, the biggest snowstorm we had was Halloween. Like, Halloween? Seriously? I know we've had snow for Halloween before. I mean, it's October 30th. Of course, we're already in the cold weather by then most likely colder weather 
usually, but like the biggest storm we had was Halloween, which I thought was funny. And then, well, we had like snow at like Thanksgiving or Christmas or whatever, but not really. Was it Christmas? It was around Christmas, but I don't remember specifically when at Christmas it was. But anyways, that aside, we've had absolutely no snow, like none when we normally get dumped with it. So this is one of those years that I guess the, um, uh, what do you call it? Oh, come on. Uh, shoot. That's probably not good. I'm probably about to die. No, I made it. Ha! I didn't think that would happen so fast, but I guess it died off on that level in CCLB3 that I got the timing down now. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, no snow and then boom. Today we're in the middle of getting 8 to 14 inches of snow just constantly falling all day. Uh, supposing, supposed to end tonight. Ooh, bit harder this says. Okay, this reminds me of a couple of the previous levels that I was already playing in this set. Ooh. No, that's why it's a bit harder. But thankfully, that's at the beginning, so that's okay. I'm fine with something like that if it's at the beginning of a level, but if it's at the end of a level, then it drives me crazy because, yeah, I've already mentioned that, so I don't need to again. So, yeah, uh, there's a lot of people that don't like that. All right, so i got to get the timing down. Uh -huh. See, that was my mistake before, is that in that I was just, standing there at the top oops of the row and I should have been standing down further because how are you supposed to get past what am I doing how are you supposed to get past the tank if you're way up at the top where he turns around and you can't really get anywhere come on you can't really get past the tank at all come on my will to go too fast is screwing me up I feel like the balls should be going faster than they are. It's always with long rows like this that at least that one's just long enough that right in the middle when I get screwed up by which ball is going in which direction the end is over here so it makes it a lot easier. Alright. There we go. See my mistake was in standing <coughs> at the top where the tank turned around and that wasn't going to get me anywhere. Oh what? Come on. I should have seen that coming. I can see it. It's window shoppable. I have saw it before, but for whatever reason, I just didn't see that coming, and no, I should wait a second when I reach the end. Or pushing the blue button so that I don't get pink ball to the face like I just did again and again. Wow. Seriously? Come on! These pink balls are really annoying me now. <laughs> Freaking what the... Alright, slow down. And just wait. It's not like I'm under really super seriously super strict pressure for time. Come on, it's not like there's 30 seconds on the clock or something. I mean, yes, it's not the greatest time limit for the level, but then again, it's probably not the longest. I thought for sure I was dead there. There, get them all going around the outside except for the bug, which I forgot. What? Oh, forgot the bug goes the other way. Seriously? But that works, so that's a good idea. I'll try that. This is a cool level. Lots of dodging elements mixed in, and I pushed the button too fast. Once again, I was in a hurry, and I need to stop that. I need to just be patient sometimes. Actually, okay. Well,. There we go, okay. Thought for sure I was probably going to be dead because I waited too long that time, but... It's much easier to have one, um... Ant to worry about. Or, ant? Whatever they're called. Bees, bugs, whatever. Rather than two paramecium, so I can take that. Okay, this isn't too hard. The the fireballs are just far enough away that that's okay. If it was any closer spacing, that would have been a lot harder. Oh, joy. 
Um, okay, so clearly I need to go... Ooh, which way do I need to go first? Either way I can get to there. Ah, so I do need to go this way first. Oh, I <laughs> forgot about that. And, uh, that's going to be the hard part, is getting around the gliders. That's the part I'm worried about. Oops. This part isn't bad. It's the glider part that's going to be the hardest. Which is alright. I'll figure it out and I'll make it in the end. I'm just worried that, uh, I don't know, whatever. Yeah, even better. Okay, that worked out. Wow. How could that have worked out any better? Even easier than the way I was doing it before. Not that I'll be able to replicate it the next time that I die, but... Alright, this time I'm going to wait for the glider. There we go. No, I killed myself. I pushed the block up before pushing it uh, right. Get your directions down now. Seriously? Yeah, pushing it left. Yeah, right is not left, dummy. Come on, I pushed the left arrow. Oh, whatever. <laughs> yeah, I have pretty good patience. I'm compared to a lot of other people I know, I have really good patience. It's just sometimes levels in CC just tax me just enough to make me super annoyed. Especially, it's never a good idea to have me play a level that super annoys me and then probably play some other level afterwards, because, yeah, I can easily get mad. Okay, that I can do. I can handle that. There we go. Now they're all, no they're not. Alright, well. Mm. Now they're all in a loop. Uh oh. Fudge. I don't know what I was thinking there. I guess I was thinking about Link's mode, wherein pushing the block and into the water and turning it to dirt gives you a second because it doesn't. You don't automatically, and that was a fail. Yeah. Um, you know, on links, you push the blocks into the water, and, oops, and then they turn to dirt. You don't push them into dirt. I mean, you don't push them into the water and turn it to floor in one move. And I was not paying attention there. I just pushed the button. Oh, uh, wow. Yeah, in Link's mode, when you push a block into the water, it turns, the tile turns to dirt, but you don't follow on top of it, and I also wasn't paying attention there. Oh, come on, I did that wrong. <sighs> yeah. It's interesting how in Link's mode, when you push the block and you turn it into dirt, um, you just stand beside it, and then you can step on it to turn it into dirt, versus an MS mode where you turn it into dirt and stand on, pff, stand on top of it at the same time, all in one foul swoop, but in Link's mode, that's not the case. It's interesting how that's one of the differences, which makes it, oops, which makes it hard to take into account for when you're creating a level sometimes, if you want to make sure that it has Link's compatibility. That's one of the biggest issues is with the timing, mostly. Not necessarily pushing it into dirt. Oops. <laughs> uh, but the timing of if there's a monster at your back following you, you need an extra second more to be able to perform the move so that you don't get ridiculously murdered by the monster in the process. And I did that wrong, I think. Yeah. No. Alright, I'm just gonna wait for them to like collide and then I don't have the biggest time, but there we go. Oh come on, I didn't think about the bug shoot. 
Wow. This is a very uh, cool level. Well, interesting level. I like it. It's different kinds of monster dodging all put together in one level, but at the same time, well, it's not really puzzle solving. I was going to say you're kind of trying to solve a puzzle, but it's not as much of a puzzle necessarily as not skilled dodging. Well, skilled dodging is of a totally different... I knew that was going to happen. Skilled dodging is not what this is. This is just avoiding things, just dodging them. It's not like the um, not spirals. What is that called? Um, oh my gosh. Why do I keep doing that? Joyride. That type of skilled dodging. That's It's not the same. It's just plain and simple dodging. Eee. Alright, that is totally not what I wanted to do, but, yeah. Okay. <coughs> I was late to the party and I thought, oh, I'll just do it now regardless and maybe it will work out, but it didn't. Okay, that time I almost got killed again. There we go. Wait for that one and then go. And then do that. Okay, or not, but whatever. Eee, get me out of here. <laughs> I'm moving away because it's about to yay except it's about to yay <laughs> alright let's try this again hopefully I don't tell myself like I almost did there by prematurely going up to where the fireball was going up the bomb and almost got a fireball to the face which I think is kind of funny and shoot I waited too long yep dang it I knew it, but it was too late. I had already pushed the block, so I don't know what I was thinking. Oh, what the heck. I'm taking my time where I need to rush, and I'm rushing where I need to take my time. Seriously? Come on. <coughs> what the heck. Slow down. I feel like I need to go through the balls faster. Oops. Yep. <laughs> I feel like, I don't know what. I keep feeling like I should be just getting the balls out of the way and going past them faster than I should be. Like, just get me out of here. Get me through them. I just want to get out of the way so they don't kill me, but by doing so in the process, I end up killing myself. Okay, there we go. There we go. That's what I wanted to happen the first time. I just didn't take that other chip, which I had forgotten about. I had to take one more chip to cause it to do that so they didn't interfere with my path. And I'm gonna, I think my volume is a little loud. I've had that problem in the last couple. Still a little loud. Uh, wasn't that loud. There we go. I just, I noticed that I had that problem in the past in um, a couple of my videos, like halfway through. You wondered what happened and I just killed myself. I was rushing where I shouldn't have. Um, anyways, it was like the middle of the video or something. I think I paused it or whatever, and in the process, killed myself. <laughs> no, um, realized that my I knew my volume was too loud, so I turned it down. Yeah, one of my recent videos, I discovered that in the editing. I realized that I had never mentioned it was too loud. I just changed it, so all of a sudden the volume changed like halfway through. It was too late to fix it because I had already recorded the video and I, yeah. So anyways, yeah, I realized that if the bomb is loud enough to be blaring at me when I'm talking, that you probably can't hear what I'm saying <laughs> either because of the bomb. There we go. Okay. Wait for it. There we go. Seriously? Did I just have one of those moments? <laughs> wow. Alright, well. <laughs> people who have seen that might understand that reference that I just made. Oh, I'm wondering. That is my first reference. And, ooh, just made it. Alright. Wondering if that is my first reference. There we go. That's what I should have done. Okay. Huh. Now all of this is in an effort to get, um, 
Oh, okay. At least that's making me... No! Seriously? I got it perfectly and I pushed the block against the wall. Why did I do that? Uh -huh. I was just playing Grand Prix and I did that. Um. Okay, I wasn't paying attention again, but it worked out. Yeah, I did that I don't know how many times it was. Whoops. Okay, it still goes up and does that score. I can't remember. Yeah, I just did that like three times in Grand Prix. I was so mad because I didn't do it in the beginning. I did it like towards the end when we were trying up. Did I seriously just do that? Yep, I did. When you're trying to get the blocks to the towards the exit part at the end. I don't know, I just screwed. Well, my favorite was when I screwed on the, um, I accidentally pushed the block against the wall instead of where I wanted it to go. Can I beat them? Ooh, just barely. That was kind of risky. Yeah, there's a spot when you're supposed to push the block against the left wall. So, um, I mean against the right wall and then the other one against the left wall. So you can save the block holds the trap down and you can save the recessed walls for later. And that is not what I wanted to do there, but okay. Yeah. Shoot. And my background just changed again. <laughs> uh, wow. Yeah, anyways, it's towards the end. You have to use one block to hold the trap down to bring the other block down on the left wall. And I accidentally pushed the block on the wrong wall. I, well, the first block I pushed on the left wall. And then the next time I pushed the second block on the right wall. So, <coughs> there are mistakes you can't fix. Which make it really annoying. There we go. That's faster. Anyways, yeah. Grand Prix and World <laughs> Seriously? I knew I was going to do that eventually. You just knew it had to happen. <laughs> I mean, considering all the times I had close calls in doing that. And I knew that was going to happen as soon as I saw the pink ball's direction. No, come on. I thought I waited a full second when I hadn't waited yet. And that was just a stupid death. No, that was Tile World. You saw that. That was Tile World. It made me go twice when I only pushed the arrow once. I just hate Tile World. Well, I love Tile World, but I mean, I hate the controls only when they screw me at the end of like a tricky level. Yeah, that's when they really piss me off. I was so paranoid about the controls getting me in that stupid level that I luckily got um, in this set. It's not a stupid level, but <coughs> that came out wrong. But, um,. It was just annoying because the tank thing was stupid. Like, the way that the tank was... Uh, I just killed myself. Wow. Alright, so I'm going to let them do that. And then do this. So I didn't actually kill myself. Even though I said I did. So just ignore what I said and just... Never mind that. <laughs> Come on. Okay, whoo, that's close call there. Wait, do I have to go backwards through this? No! What the heck? How am I supposed to do that? I just realized that's... No, the... Never mind. The, um... Yeah, the, um... No. What is it called? The socket. Uh, is where the gliders are spinning around. Never mind. I had a brain part there for a moment and I'm going to kill myself. Yep. Wow. Come on. Come on. Come on, pink balls. Get out of my way. Get out of my way so I can finish this level. There we go. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. I have to think about this one now. And I should go on the other way with that, but that's alright. I like this. This is cool. Okay, let's do this. That's what happens. Yeah, I thought so. They run into it and so it goes back up. Alright, so I have to figure that out because I'm not so sure about that. I'm not understanding that. There we go. 
Alright, they're all screwed up now, so I'm just going to wait for them to correct themselves and do something like that. What the heck? Did you see that? I did not push the right arrow, the down arrow at all. I pushed the up arrow and Tile World made me go down. I do not understand that. That was a Tile World glitch. That was just bizarre. I don't think I've ever had it make me go down when I pushed up. I mean, you know, that was stupid. I've had it, like, push me in the direction I was pushing the arrow button before when I stopped pushing the arrow button. Like, you know, I was holding down the right arrow and then I let go, but it made me still go further right. But I have never had it make me go down when I pushed the up arrow. That just doesn't make sense. Now that's bizarre and that was stupid because I forgot to wait for it to go back up a little first. Wow. That was weird. And that was dumb because I wasn't even paying attention to the pink ball. <laughs> I just pushed the button without thinking about the position that the pink ball was in. Wow. Alright, wait for it. Okay. No, come on. Why am I screwing up at the beginning again? I hate it when I do that. And hold on a second. Okay, I'm back. Uh, uh like, <laughs> when was I doing this? Five hours ago? Yeah, five hours ago. It was about 11 o'clock. And it's now uh, 4.30, so yeah, like five and a half hours ago. <laughs> uh, I had to pause the... Oh, come on. I had to pause the recording because I lost track of time when I was recording this episode and I had to go out and snow blow the driveway before it got too, um, oops, before it got too much later because we're getting a lot of snow and so good after the first batch of snow to snow blow the driveway and then by the time the second batch comes we can do it again but it won't be as bad so Ooh. Plus, I needed to clean it because otherwise, my dad and my oops aunt wouldn't be able to get back home from work. Uh, especially if they finished work early, which they did. They both ended work. Really, so I'm glad I snow blued when I did so <laughs> I didn't have to worry about shoveling them out and they got done it was already done <laughs> anyways yeah so sorry about that wait why am I even saying sorry you won't even notice because it's I paused it dummy wow well whatever all right I'm going to wait a second because there we go all right uh, there we go and that is my only question how to do that and hmm, really I don't like the timing that those are set up in I don't think I'm doing this right or I'm, there must be something that I'm doing wrong because oops shoot <laughs> that was a dumb move there must be a better way or a different way to set up those tanks to roam about gotta be some other way of doing it that I'm just not seeing. There we go. Alright. Whoa. I almost went straight
straight into the bomb there and then we go running from the fireballs forgetting they had to clean up the bomb first. Blow up a bomb. Ah, there's a... Hmm. Okay, there's something going on there. There is... If I do this first... Uh, if I do this way, I can't do that way, so I have to do this one. Okay, there we go. Oh, there's two, um, shoot. So that's what I do. I follow them back. I do it just like that. I, oops, no, hmm. Why is there a random fire tile there? I don't understand the meaning of that. That's weird. Serves absolutely no point. Random fire tiles. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so I do this. <sighs> if I shoot, that's not what I wanted to do. Is it? This was. I should have left this here until that was roaming with them, right? Oh no, there it goes. All right. Well. Okay. I'm just going to wait for them all to go that way. Nope. Shoot. Okay, that doesn't work. Uh, there's no way to do that and get out safely. Well, unless I had it here, maybe. There's still four of them, so one's inevitably going to go the other way. Hmm. There we go. Oh, but then that still gives me the problem. <sighs> okay. Not this time. Ooh, but how am I supposed to make it through there? Yeah, I don't think I'm going to make it through that alive. So I got to do something different. So maybe I do go up here first. Because there is two blocks. So maybe I do something with that. I don't know. Nope. And I took it at the wrong timing, too. Hmm. This is very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Trying to figure this out. Hmm. Very good level. Very interesting puzzle this part of the level. Hmm. Okay, that works too. Yeah, this way works too. Oh, I see what I do. Yeah, I got it now. I know what to do. No. No. No, that is not what I was trying to do. And I guess I don't see what to do because I can't do it the way I was thinking. Because I would still need flippers of some sort to be able to get to the chip in order for what I was thinking to work. And that was not correct. What the hey, hey, hey. I thought maybe for once I would have a short video, but that didn't happen. <laughs> That's right, it's not that long. It's only at 34 minutes. That's short compared to some of the other sessions I've had. Hour long recording session, man. Yeah, obviously I didn't keep the video an hour long, but. Let's see. Well, I obviously am not going to put one in one because then I can't do anything. Alright, so let's think about this. Okay, that's what I was trying for. I still can't hmm, do anything. Okay. 
No! Don't you just love it when you're thinking? So you lose track of where you push the block and then you screw yourself from pushing it into a wall? Yeah, that's what basically just happened. I was too busy thinking about what to do that I wasn't paying attention to what I was actually doing. And that's really gonna get me very far. Wow. Hmm. Oh, I need to go take a shower. I'm cold. <laughs> Being outside in the cold. No blowing will do that. <laughs> it wasn't bad when I was still blowing. I wasn't actually that cold, but... You know when you come back in and you just can't warm up? You haven't warmed up yet? Well, that's kind of what happened. I just never warmed up because I didn't take a shower yet. And I... Also didn't mean to do that. Oh. <laughs> Ever somebody didn't want to go to the gym, but they wanted to get a workout. Living in climates with snowfall will do that to you. Whether it be shuff shuffling. <laughs> shuffling, yeah, let's shuffle the driveway. Shoveling or snow blowing, you still get a very good workout. I can imagine having to shovel the whole driveway. It's even more of a workout than snow blowing, but still, I'm tired. Well, I'm not like tired, tired, but that was a good workout. <laughs> Definitely. Now I don't have to worry about going to the basement and getting on my bike or dancing or something. <laughs> or lifting. Oh, how am I going to do this? Um, I'm still in the same boat that I was. Yeah. This doesn't help me at all. It's no different than... Um, hmm. Oh! Oh, let's do that. Let's see if I can't trap him up there. Oh. No. Aha, okay. So that's what I gotta do. I didn't even think of that room up there. Instead of trapping him in the room on the right, trap him in the room up there because I'll need access to the room on the right to get out of there. So somehow manipulate the blocks so that the, t the tanks... Why do I keep wanting to call gliders tanks? The gliders... Wait, are they even gliders? Now I'm totally blanking. Yeah, they're gliders. Wait, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. That's a... Talk about a brain fart. Um. Okay. So that the gliders get trapped up in here. Oh, only question is how to do that. Yep, exactly as I thought. Gliders turn right. So I did it wrong. And I know what to do now. I have to trap them up there when I do this. And there they go. Alright. There we go. There we go. That's what I was supposed to do all along. Well, no, ain't that just easier? Wow. How come I didn't even think of that? I totally was forgetting about that room. I love it when accidents make you find the solution. And more randomness and random fire tiles and hopefully Okay. Hopefully I was gonna say hopefully there's like no bombs or anything. Oh great. I'm guessing with the key down there. Yeah, I probably need to push that more. Okay, I'm gonna wait for them to line up again. Nope, or not. Alright, so what I should have done was just done a run for it with the push. Alright. Okay, I don't have to say it again because I've already said it. I really like this level. But I'm going to say it anyway, obviously. I just did. Now that I figured out the tanks, it's the tanks. They're not tanks. The freaking gliders. Why the heck do it? It's the blue factor. Much easier to not get them mixed up in MS mode because the gliders totally have a different color blue than the tanks. But in this, there's only one color for blue. That's the if it's anything about Tile World, it's the um the 
the lack of color compared to MS mode. I just love the multiple hues of color in MS mode. Not that it's a bazillion, but I don't know. For some reason, it's just not the same in Tile World. I still can't get over that it took me that long to figure this solution out. Oh man, I just love it when you accidentally do something and it makes you discover what you're supposed to do in the first place. I'm trying to think of how many times this happened to me. I've actually done that. Okay. No! Okay, I went one too many spaces. Let's get back there. Alright, we're back here. Uh, <laughs> I had to pause the recording because my mom was calling. <laughs> She's visiting my grandparents for the night because she has to somewhere to be for there we go strategy I didn't think of in the first place just one at a time um she has to be somewhere like it would be a four hour drive for her to get to work in the morning tomorrow because she has some meeting somewhere at one of the offices where she works or something well, not offices where she works, but, like, some of their building, um, where she's meeting people with for work, and so, she just wanted me to know she arrived, and you don't care, so, yeah, I'm just gonna get back to the talking about this really long, what am I doing, is there any way I can, I'm almost there, oh, I guess I kind of need the block, maybe? Is that why the ice is there? I wonder. Uh, let me see. No? I guess not. I don't know why those ice tiles are there. Well, that's just random. And red, yellow, green, and blue. Very interesting. Hm. Okay, come on, pink ball. Whoa, that was close. Okay, I can do two at a time safely. That's going to help me because I only have 33 seconds left in this wall fudge. Okay, wow, I don't know what I did the first time, but we're back with like... Oh, fudge. Okay, I was about to say we're back with 100 seconds on the clock instead of 30. And I stupidly killed myself because I wasn't paying attention to the timing of the pink ball because I was in a rush once again. <sighs> Which I gotta stop doing because it kills me. Okay. I can do that safely. Follow right behind the pink ball this time. There we go. Alright. Okay. Why did I even unlock that? I have no idea. Okay, wait for them to come down, follow them up, and then stand here. Oh yeah, way more seconds on the clock this time. Much more efficiently moving. Now that I've got the beginning of the level down, I even was able to do the gliders faster. It's like almost like an optimization level. It's like a dodging optimization level. There we go. There is dodging, but you have to optimize in order. Hmm. Do I want the pink ball to go through that? I don't think so, but maybe I do. Nope. Okay, if it had, that would have been deadly for me. So I'm glad that I didn't. And there's the exit. Wow, that was an awesome level. I didn't even see the bug, so I'm glad I didn't go right into it. And I'm glad it's hugging the exit and not the outside wall. Wait, if it was hugging the outside wall, it would go through the teleport and get stuck. Never mind. Alright, well, anyways, that's 50 minutes. Wow, that's the end of the video. Um, thanks for watching on a snow day for me, and I will see you in the next video. Um, yeah. And I hope you're enjoying your day.